Hello and welcome to 365 Days of Amazing Stories with Theo Mare. Here we are on day 240. A real life story. Last night, striving home from town, and it wasn't early, it was uh, dark. So it must have been after 8 p.m. And I've driven south of the crossroads uh, in Carmel and heading south into a section of Highway 1 where there is no reception. And there's a car in the, well, off the side of the road uh, heading north. I was heading south. And as I'm approaching, they're blinking their lights on and off from low beam to high beam. And they have their flashers on. The car ahead of me slowed down, but continued. I slowed down, rolled my window down and, and stopped. And there was no one behind me, so I didn't have to worry about that. And there was a woman in the car and it was clear that she was quite anxious. And I asked her what was going on and she let me know that her car had broken down. And I turned my car around, parked behind her, and got out and, and began to try to help her. The first thing that I had to do was try to calm her down. It seems she had never broken down in her car before. She needed to get back to LA. She'd gone down Highway 1 thinking that she would be able to get through and found out that the road was closed, so had to turn around after having driven at least 30 miles and was coming back into town so that she could have gone over Highway 68 to 101 and then down 101 uh, to wherever she needed to go to get to where she was going. She was frantic. She needed to get back to work by today. And so Anyway, I said, look, let's let's just see what's going on. She told me her card started shaking, then it started smoking, and she turned it off. And so I asked her to start it up. I'd pop the hood, and uh, I looked in as the car just started shaking, and it did smell horrible. There obviously had been some oil that leaked onto the engine block. Not a good situation. We turned it off, and... I said, look, you know, you're going to have to get this thing towed. We began to discuss this. Another person stops by and she stops, rolls her window down. And it's a friend, Michelle Magdalena. And she turned her car around and parked in front of this woman and got out. And both of us now are trying to calm this woman down, who now is really upset because I'm giving her the news that her car is not going to make it to L.A. There's nothing she can do. She wants to add oil to it and keep driving. It's talking about how she had just checked the car out, had it, you know, serviced at Jiffy Lube and even taken it into the Nissan dealership where she lived, it was a Nissan hybrid. Anyway, by this time, she'd already, before I'd gotten there, gotten on her phone and the gotten SOS out there. So people were on their way. Anyway, Michelle and I got her kind of calmed down, presented some possibilities to her. We were in a place where we couldn't call, but you know, the car needed to get towed. And so we were trying to discuss this and it seemed that she'd taken off with this car unbeknownst to her mom who the car had belonged to her dad. Her dad had died some time recently. And so she was now like really worried that her mom was gonna get upset with her and she should have never left. She'd driven up to San Francisco to see somebody. She was worried. Anyway, somebody from Midcoast Fire Brigade shows up because it had been reported as a car fire. That was clearly not the case. This woman continued on her way, radiated back to Midcoast to let them know that there was not a car fire. And then a highway patrolman shows up. Now we talked about, or I'd talked about taking this woman and driving her into where she had reception, 
making sure the tow truck came, making sure she could get somewhere where she could rent a car. And anyway, the highway patrolman comes up and gets out. You know, he stops at first, makes sure that we're all okay. Thanks, Michelle and I, for being there. Turns his car around, parks behind me, bright lights on, flashers on, so everybody knows to slow down. And it was amazing. There was one car that just comes blazing by. And, you know, we're standing on the side of the road. Didn't even slow down at all. You have to be really careful if you stop on the side of a highway, even if it's a little highway like Highway 1. People, you know, they're crazy the way they drive. And they'll look off to the side and pretty soon, you know, there's a dead highway patrolman. This has happened many, many times. Now, I have a patrolman gets out. His name is Mason. What a great guy. Can't remember his last name. This guy is completely a hero. And I have to say, high patrolmen in California are amazing people in my experience. I served as a firefighter, dealt with them many times on auto accidents. They're incredible. They're highly trained. They're really out there to try to keep people safe. And so this story is really about highway patrolmen and women. They're amazing people. And if you ever are pulled over by one, it's for a good reason, believe me. And you should show those people the utmost respect. Work with them. If you're nice to them, they're often gonna just like, look, give you a warning and send you on their way. Anyway, Mason gets out. We explain the situation. He figures it all out. And he just looks at this young woman and says, look, you're going to come with me. We're going to go ahead and get into a reception area. I've already called, you know, AAA for towing. They're going to get here. They're going to tow your car. We can work through, you know, the billing for that through her. She had a number, uh, AAA card. So they would bill her. And he said, we're going to get your car somewhere safe where it can get worked on. And then I am going to take you to where you can get a rental car if there is still a place open. By this time, it's like nine or so. I mean, come on. What a hero. What a beautiful service these people are offering. Yeah, they're going to pull you over if you're doing something stupid and dangerous. But man, they are going to show up and take care of things when there's a situation where something needs to be done on the highway. I think we really need to be looking at these men and women who serve as highway patrolmen with great respect. Great, great respect. They really do serve our community and, and keep us safe out there on the highways. So anyway, Michelle and I were able to leave. Mason then went into action and, and you know, got this woman, her, she got her stuff out of the car, locked the car. Mason, Mason led her to his vehicle and off they went. What a beautiful thing. He's like an angel and a saint and a knight all wrapped up in one. Okay, and that's my story for the day. <laughs> Give thanks for those people out there that keep us safe. <laughs>